Hit me. Watch this. Are you ready, Boots? Start walking. Because Chopper Bob Tour is now Zoe Tour. Wow, that thing was on there. How is he, Doc? Is he all right? No, I'm afraid not. <gasps> but she's going to be just fine. It's the dawn of a new day as Zoe Turr slips into pantyhose and puts on makeup. It's difficult to get ready because it's complicated because you, when you're a guy, you don't need any of this. And wearing a dress, well, that's a whole other story. Wow, look at those legs. Yeah. It's raining, man. Hallelujah. I took the election very, very, very hard. Donald J. Trump is now president of the United States. President Obama. It was the first time I think I've ever cried. I am so sorry <laughs> to my world. I am so sorry to my world. This is not what we want. For uh, close to 15 months, I was screaming to anybody on air or off air that Donald Trump's mentally ill. Mental illness. Well, according to the American Psychiatric Association, what is gender dysphoria? Gender dysphoria is categorized as a mental illness. But more on that later. All days I have to put on a helmet. I remember the sky was a majestic orange. The breeze was just warm enough that you could wear short sleeves, but, you know, not so warm that you break any kind of a sweat, because let me tell you, I do hate to perspire. So anyway, I just bit the bullet and put on my helmet. Oh, sorry, that's my uh, auto spell correct, but, uh, yeah, he's super gay. This is Rachel Levine. Oops, <laughs> Sorry about that. Let me start all over again. This is Rachel Levine, the health director for the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Very hypocritical, Rachel Levine, because while all of this pandemic stuff is going on, she took the initiative to move her mother out of a nursing home to a hotel. Close to 4,000 people have died in Pennsylvania because of the coronavirus. Almost 70% of those deaths, about more than 2,600, took place in nursing homes or similar long care facilities. Those deaths occurred for the very same reason they did in New York, because the state officials there ordered nursing homes to accept patients who had tested positive for coronavirus. The person who gave that order was, was the state's health secretary, Dr. Rachel Levine. Levine knows nothing about this virus. She has no idea what she's doing like so many of our leaders. Here she is promising that admitting coronavirus cases into nursing homes, no problem at all, totally safe. By testing every resident and every staff member in every nursing home, we will be able to pinpoint exactly who has COVID-19, who has been exposed but no symptoms, and cohort positive cases to prevent further spread. While outbreaks devastated Pennsylvania's nursing homes and thousands of Pennsylvanians lost their loved ones, their parents, their grandparents, Levine's own 95-year-old mother transferred out of the facility she was in to keep her safe. Well, Rachel Levine was once Richard Levine, where once again, I go back to what is the identity? Like potato, and I like potato. You like tomato, and I like tomato. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Oh, let's call the whole thing off. Is it suffering from gender dysphoria? Not a psychiatric illness? But yet, we're listening to this individual who, according to the American psychiatric, uh, whatever you want to call it, is mentally ill. And we're taking health advice, medical advice, from this individual? It's like going to go see Dr. Frankenstein for a physical. It's alive, it's alive, it's alive. Hmm. Wouldn't do it. Shouldn't do it. How could we do it? Crazy. I don't want to cause too much of a fracas, so I'm going to leave it right there. You know, regardless of all the craziness, as I always say, 
God is in control. I want to thank Tom and Carol for always looking out for me and providing the sugar. I want to thank Deplorable TD, of whom I used a tweet of his on this subject. And I want to thank Arnie Beiser also. I want to thank all you patriots out there. Keep up the good work. And once again, remember, God is in control. I am the Monster Jam of KSG. Baruch Hashem and Amen. Get on up.